हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम आशीष आई वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन टू दिस चैप्टर नाउ विल टॉक अबाउट द फंक्शनैलिटी ऑफ स्टब एरिया इन ओ एस पी एफ एंड विल सी वेयर कैन वी इम्प्लीमेंट वाई शुड वी इम्प्लीमेंट एंड वट चेंज डू वी सी इन दैट राइट नाउ यू कैन सी दैट देर इज अटोलॉजी ऑफ थ्री राउटर्स वन टू थ्री द आर वन हैज़ वन लू बैक इंटरफेस विच इज़ इन रिप और राइट राउटिंग इंफॉर्मेशन प्रोटोकॉल and i have area 0 between r1 and r2 10 series is being used here and ip address is you can see okay and this one the green portion r2 to r3 there is area 1 and 20 series of ip has been used so what happens that if when we do redistribution we see type 5 lsa or lsa 5 because that is i'll say that gives the information about the external route all right so in this topology we have only single route right now okay and so that's the reason there will not be any load in that uh, database but what if we have 10000 routes because the big companies you know they have more than 10000 routes because they are really big so in that case your database size will be huge all right and if there is frequent changes so every time there is a single change the lsa file will be generated which will ultimately consume your resources your link uh, link bandwidth your cpu and memory resources so what we have done we have come up with the solution with stub area we'll make that particular area which has low resources as a stub so that it does not receive type 5 lsa so if we configure that ls uh, stub so type 5 will be blocked so how would the communication work so that will work by injecting a default route okay that default route will be generated by abr where you configure stub okay i'll i'll take it uh, to the topology i have uh, these many routers let me show you what i have configured these are the ip addresses this is the current configuration of rip and ospf i have redistributed rip into ospf and ospf into rip similar on the r2 you can see the configuration is very simple here i am using area 0 and area 1 why because this portion is in 0 this is in 1 now this one is completely in area 1 if i check the route show ip route i would see reachability till rip network as e2 because this is a default metric type okay o means ospf this is the metric i had defined 14 you can see it here this is the metric i have defined okay subnets is a keyword which basically redistributes the classless routes as well okay that's the reason we are able to see this 100.1.1.0/24 all right so if i ping this ip it will work if i show you the ospf database you'll find that type 5 ls is there because that's what the functionality of this ls is it it does the inter protocol communication it is actually generated due to that so you can see the link id uh, of the router where it has come from okay and advertising actually um, we always do redistribution at the border router and that router is known as asbr okay autonomous system border router okay and when the when we do inter area communication we call it abr area border router so how to block this type 5 lsa first condition is that you cannot configure backbone area as stub this is a rule number 1 you cannot do it all right second thing is it has to be done at the abr and there should be only one abr for that area because this router will generate a default route okay if there would be multiple routers in that or you can say there would be more than one exit point then both will generate uh, default route 
default mean there will be two defaults ultimately your traffic will have issues you know so there should be only one exit point of that area like this one okay and right now we want to generate it for area one means we want to implement stub for area one okay the command has to be entered here area space one space stub in the OSPF router command and also oh, this command has to be entered on all of the routers which are part of that area okay let's do it so I will have to go to router 2 router OSPF 1 area space 1 if you do area space 0 stub it will say sorry it can't be configured so it has to be area 1 space stub hit enter okay uh, neighborship will reset but you also have to configure the command at the internal router of that area okay like area space one space stub now you will see that this route will go, will vanish it has gone now it will take some time to come neighborship is up you will see a default route let me ping this IP okay it will take some okay it is working well now so communication has been established but how if you do show IP route you see default route O star star means default route advertisement okay it has been advertised actually it will be done as uh, in LSA 3 okay now let's check the OSPF database earlier there was type 5 LSA that is gone now it was there here if you scroll up If you scroll up a bit, okay, here it is. Earlier there was type 5 LSA that is external link state, now it is not. So I told you that AVR will do route advertisement as default, okay, and that will be summarized, that will be summary, okay. So you will see that uh, information in, in this one summary net link state okay and also note that your type 4 is also gone because type 4 is used to find out the location of uh, location of ASBR so type 4 and 5 are blocked see I told you now uh, this one will be advertised as type 3 so we are able to control LSA 5 in this because if there are 10,000 routes then they, you will see 10,000 entries in that that we don't want it would have consumed our resources if you do show IP route summary you see number of networks 3 subnets 2 memory will be obviously be less okay so this is the benefit of having stub area in OSPF so friends I hope that it's been informative to you and I would like to thank you for viewing have a nice day